Welcome to Fusion 360 for woodworkers. In this episode, we'll do this table right here, kind of inspired by Four Eyes, I suppose. So we'll go ahead and create a new design and we'll start by creating our new component and we'll call that table dining. The wrong way around, I'm not sure why. We'll start by creating a sketch and I'll be placing this table on a floor but I'll be drawing it from the side, so I'll choose this face. And today I want to use the feature in Fusion 360 called Parametric Design. And that is, we can actually design the table with constraints, and afterwards we can change the size however we want. So what I'm going to do is, I can, you can always come up to the Modify menu and change parameters. And here's where you'll see all your parameters and you can also actually define them before you start. So you could hit user parameter and you can go table height and you can write 750 and hit OK. Now we have a table height parameter, so hit OK. Now I'll choose the, the line tool and I'm going to start by making a construction line. So I'll hit there or X on the keyboard start by the bottom and I'm going to write instead of writing 750 right now I'm gonna write table height and you can see it pop up right here that's what we defined the parameter we defined just now so I'm gonna hit enter and enter let's zoom out and we can see that this is our table height so we're going to start by creating the tabletop. So I'll hit R on the keyboard for a rectangle and I'll go ahead and disable the construction line since it's activated by hitting X on the keyboard. So if I come up to here, click and drag, I can now define my parameters right inside of the sketch. So I want the thickness of the tabletop to be 35. So I'll write tabletop thickness equals 35 and then I'll tab and then I'll write table length equals 1800 so none of this will matter because we can always change this later so I want to create those angled legs so I'll hit L on the keyboard and I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to go all the way up here. And I want this leg to have a 75 degree angle. So I'll go over to the tab over to that to write leg angle equals 75. And then I'll just have it snap onto the bottom of the tabletop right here and click. And now this line is black as well because we have defined the angle of the leg. Now it's going to be a bit wider at the top. So I'll click here and I'll do a construction line for this. So I'll hit X. So I'll click and drag and I'll do leg top width equals 65. And just make sure it's on the tabletop uh, right there. And then I'll go down to the bottom. I'll deactivate the um, construction line for now. And I'm going to go leg bottom width equals 35. And make sure it snaps onto the grid. And now I can just click and drag and it'll snap into that 65 right there. And as you can see, all the lines are black. Now we want to mirror all of those parts over to the other side. So I want to create a center line. So I have something for reference. So I'll click X on the keyboard to do a construction line. And you can see it snaps into the center right here. So I'll just click and drag downwards to create a center line. And now I can come up here to the sketch menu and click mirror. And I'm going to select these and also zoom in a bit and select that piece. And for mirror line, we have this and just hit OK. Now I want to have us have the stretchers as well. So I'm going to click L on the keyboard 
to create a new construction line and I want it to be uh, 65 so I'll go ahead and write stretcher width equals 65 and from there I can deactivate the construction line and just go from here to here and from here to here so I'm almost done but I don't want the legs to be joined here with the stretcher I want them to be joined in an angle so I'll go ahead and click right here I'll go up to that corner it's gonna snap in place and I'll do the same on this side and now I think I'm ready to extrude so I'll go ahead and finish the sketch and I'll hit E on the keyboard and we'll start with the tabletop and I'll orbit around a bit to be able to see I want that to be table top width equals 800 and if I want that to go the other way I can do negative 800 and it's going to create a new body within our table dining component so hit OK and we have to go back and reactivate the sketch and now I want to extrude the legs and the stretcher so I'll go ahead and hit E on the keyboard I'll select this leg but I don't want the leg to be all the way to the flush with the tabletop on this side so I'm going to go start offset and I'm going to offset it negative 100 and I want the distance to be negative 45 and that's what that will look like it's going to be a new body so I'll hit OK now I can come back to, to here to actually name all of these since it will be easier later on so I'll do tabletop and I'll call this left leg and we'll do the other leg the same way around I'll go ahead and offset negative 100 it's going to be negative 45 a new body hit OK and then we'll do the stretcher the exact same way we have to select all of these we'll offset it by a negative 100 and it's going to be negative 45 and now it's going to say join but we don't want that so we'll say new body and hit OK so we can name these as well right leg stretcher and we'll go ahead and deactivate the sketch and now we have the legs but we want to have them on the other side as well because otherwise the table will of course fall apart so we'll go ahead and create a construction line or a construction face so we're, we're going to do a mid plane we'll select this face and this face hit OK and now we have a construction face in the middle so now we can come back to the mirror we'll select all of these bodies and for the mirror plane we'll select the newly created construction plane and as you can see that's going to create the legs so hit OK now we can hide the construction line now we want some stretchers in between the leg parts as well so we'll go ahead and deactivate the tabletop for now in the browser and we can come up to the top and we can create a new sketch and we'll create it on top of these stretchers and uh, I want to project those stretchers so I'll hit P on the keyboard I can select them like that hit OK Oop. sorry OK and now we can join these uh, legs together by stre doing stretchers so I want them to be 300 millimeters here so I'll go ahead and write 300 millimeters and I'm, I'm doing a construction line right now and I'll do the same from here 300 
and I'll hit enter. And then I can select the rectangle, turn off the construction line by hitting X. And then I can click and drag and it's going to snap onto here because we did the project projection. And we're going to name this small stretcher width equals 35. And hit enter. And then we'll do the same over here. And now we're ready to extrude those as well. So finish the sketch, hit E on the keyboard, and I select them, but I can to select how far they're gonna go, I can actually come down here and select this face. And as you can see, it's going to create the stretcher, stretcher all the way down. And I'm gonna select new body, hit OK, activate the sketch, and repeat for this one as well. And then I can go ahead and name them as well. So one last thing I want to show you before we end this is I want to do a slight chamfer on the tabletop. So we can come up here to the modify menu and we can select chamfer. Now select the bottom faces all the way around this table. And now I think I have a six millimeter bit, so I can say six millimeters. That doesn't do a lot, so maybe my 12 millimeter bit will be even better. Uh, but I do also have a 25 millimeter bit, and I think that looks even better. So I'm going to do OK. And that looks a bit better, but if I also want to do some fillets, I can actually do that as well by hitting F on the keyboard or go to the modify menu and select fillet. And you could potentially do a six millimeter fillet on the inside or maybe even the outside. Uh, that's a bit of a taste, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. So there's one last thing I want to show you before we end this, and that is we did parameters for this entire build. So now we can come up to modify and change parameters and we can actually change the table length, for instance, say 2400. It's going to create a really long table, but it's going to keep all the constraints we've put on the drawing when we did it. So if we look beneath the table, we can see that these stretchers are kept 300 millimeters from where we told them to stay. So we can change all of this and it's going to stay like that. So let's do 1500 instead. And um, let's say we want to make this a coffee table instead. We can do it like that. It looks like a dog. But and you can see that the parametric design is really powerful since we can come back and change everything. And um, if we do this back to our own size and there's one feature that is really cool since you have this designed to a size you can come up to this file menu here and choose export and you can export this to your desktop as a usdz file and what you can do with that file is send it to your phone if you have an iphone you can just open the file up directly and you can use that in augmented reality to see what the table would look like in your house and if the dimensions are wrong you can actually adapt the size here since we did parametric design so this is the end of the table series but i want to leave you with a bit of homework since we didn't do any joinery to this maybe you can try to do dowels like we did in the second episode or go all fancy and do dominoes and why not give the table some walnut appearance or anything else so that's it for this one i'll see you in the next series bye